Brian with the Arms Guide, and I'm standing here with Tom, and Tom is the man at FN. That's what they told me. I asked around and I said, I need somebody to talk about the 509, because no big deal or anything, but you can't hardly get into this booth. People are like pressing in all over the place. So people are kind of like thinking this is a big deal, it looks like. Yeah. So can you tell us about it, Tom? So I'm here with the brand new 509. So what this is for us is it's a, a variant of our MHS submission gun. So there's yeah. a lot of anticipation behind it. So about a couple of years ago, the U.S. military was looking for a new pistol. Right. So no one really had anything that checked all the boxes. That's why you're seeing a lot of new guns. Right. And this is this is our entrance. Right. So the Army, you know, U.S. U.S. Army modular handgun system, right. MHS. Yeah. What that was about was that. Yeah, but thank you. Not everyone. No, so, no, no, no. so what that was about is they wanted one system that would fit the fifth to ninety-fifth percentile right. and be able to have some of the future things like threaded barrels, suppressors, yeah, yeah, yeah. All, all kinds of stuff like right. that. So, what we ended up doing is we took our FNS nine compact platform right. and evolved Which it. We've written a ton about, and yes. I personally love. I love that gun. Yeah. That's actually was my favorite gun until this really? came out. Yes. So this is good. This you, is better. You really think so? I know so. Oh man. So. Then I gotta get one. I don't want. I want you to say it's bad so that I don't have to buy any gun. Well, I mean, I can't. Okay. I really all can't. Right. So anyway, what we did is we took the compact platform and we took all the things people liked about it and then kept those but changed all the things we needed to for the army right. and including some of the feedback we got was the compact or the fns maybe a little too aggressive so we kept certain things on the grip like the pyramid texture so right. what's great about that you drop it in the mud or whatever oh, you pick it back up and it sheds all the mud away yeah. and it, it works really great no need but, to stipple it no, i mean it's great yeah. i mean it's awesome it's awesome but then on the front strap, some people said, we wish we had a little bit more for recoil control. So we ended up changing the texture up here. And what that allows us to do is not only reduce the gun moving this way, but a lot side to side as well. Okay. And then some of the newer shooters primarily, more, more advanced shooters weren't really having an issue. But some of the newer shooters said that the uh, back strap was a little too aggressive. So what we did is we toned it down a little bit, but it still provides a lot of control. Fancy. In it. No, I know, I know. No. But you know, you gotta no, no, sell no. what you the listen, people want. You listen want. to the marketing. Yeah, I mean, to the customer. Right? Exactly, exactly. And then another major, another major change is the grip texture up high. Yeah, so a lot of people, a lot of people were like, "Why do you do that?" Yeah. Well, when you shoot enough, you know that you're shooting a two-handed grip. Usually, this yeah. part of your hand right here is going right there. Yeah. So it gives you a lot of aggressive texture in there to really help manage the recoil control in this direction. This is kind of sandpaper ish like, yeah, like, it's, like it's skateboard kind of blending, tape. Yeah, like skateboard tape ish, mm -hmm. which is which is uh, less aggressive actually. I said sandpaper, but it's less aggressive than this. So it's it's gonna be more comfortable on the inside of your thumb there. That's that's well, a good thought. What it what it really helps do is slim out this area. So okay. this is actually one of the thinnest guns right in this region. And what we were trying to do is allow people to get a bet particularly women or guys with smaller hands. They couldn't really reach the trigger all the time. So when you talk in fifth to ninety-fifth percentile, it's kind of crazy. But we have a lady that I work with that her hand goes like to here on mine. Right. So we had to make sure that when she properly held the gun, she could still operate all the controls. Right. So those are a lot of the changes you're going to see in the grip. And then we have an all new top end. So new slide and barrel. Uh, we we developed it all for MHS, and what we are looking for is basically. If you can shoot the hottest ammo and tone it down for the lightest ammo, right. that's where we went. So a lot of people that shoot this gun find the recoils very, very minimal. Yeah. Plans to go compact? Uh, maybe one day in the future. Yeah. This is this is the gun right now. Uh, and we, its capacity again is? It's a 17 plus one, nine millimeter. Right. Uh, set up full ambi control, so you got push button left and right, slide stop left and right. Yeah. And then aftermarket's all ready to go. So we've been yeah. working with a, a Safari Land and a few other people. So if you want a duty holster, you're ready to go. You want concealed carry, appendix, outside the waistband, inside the waistband, everything's ready. Yeah. And then same thing with the sights. We actually switched the dovetail to something new to FN, we'll say. Yeah. Very similar to some of our competitors. You're going right. to hear more about that soon. So but your, your sight aftermarket options are already opening up for this I'd gun. say anything that fits on uh, some guns out of New Hampshire or Croatia is going to mount right up here. So. If you don't know who he's talking about, I'll write it in the piece, but apparently he's not allowed to say competitors' names here. So yeah. I, I, I respect that. Yeah, so pretty much. 
that's the gun. And if you want to learn more, you can visit fnamerica.com, home of the world's most battleproof. Wait, 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 you can't, you can't, ah, you can't we can't exit like now. Okay, we'll, we'll get we'll get done. But you're here, and they told me you're the man. So before I get off the the horn with the man, I gotta ask, what are you into, man? What, what do you, you like mean? to do? What do I like to like, do? You're not here. You're gonna leave this place. You're gonna go hang out with you your know, friends. What are you gonna do? You know, honestly, all I want right now is a nice cold beer and a really nice pizza. That's a fair answer. Thanks for your time, man. Yep, appreciate it. Nice to meet you. Bye.